on BL. Okay, so a little bit of back info. So um, B is an 18-year-old African-American transgender male, um, and he self-identifies as emo. So I had to include something that gave you guys a little bit of like a description of him, and this fits perfectly. So he has an amazing like personality when it comes to cracking jokes. So. Um, he's the oldest of four kids, met all developmental milestones. Um, he has a diagnosis of MDD with psychotic features. So he sometimes has auditory hallucinations, but he can't really make out what they're saying. And he also tells me a lot about having tactile hallucinations where he can feel bugs um, crawling on him. Um, he also has generalized anxiety um, and self-harming, um, it's not documented or diagnosed, but there's also some um, borderline personality stuff in there, um, actually a lot of borderline personality stuff in there, and so um, he's had multiple hospitalizations in 5150s um, since 16 years old. Um, he has little to no peer relationships. He has only shared with me about one person that he has a relationship with, and that person he met at one of his um, inpatient psychiatric hospitalizations. Um, his family is very religious, um, and so he's conflicted over religiosity. Um, and so his cultural context comes into conflict a lot because he actually looks very similar to this caricature in the um, picture here. Um, so it's hard for him to interact with people based on his outward appearance. Um, but some of his strengths, major strengths, is that he's an artist, a poet, um, he's into technology, like I said, he's self-identified emo, he's into heavy metal, dark humor and comedy, and I apologize about my bird in the background. So um, the goals that we set for him is individual therapy two times a week. We do two times a week because of the self-harming. And he also states that he has an eating disorder. Um, but that's still a little bit questionable at this point in time. Um, so we have goals to build social emotional skills. Um, and his actual CCP, so uh, client care plan goals are to reduce self-harm to zero times per day, seven out of seven days per week. Uh, baseline, client self-harms three times per day, four out of seven days per week. And so currently I've been working with him since September and um, we are at now probably about 19 days without self-harming. Um, but I haven't been able to meet with him this week because I've been out all week. But um, his second goal is reduce de depressive symptoms, um, isolation, irritability, and sadness to one time a day lasting 60 minutes, five out of seven days per week. Um, so I work at the Journey Tay as their MSW clinical intern, um, long-term treatment, team approach, clinical case management, housing, vocational, educational, severe and persistent mental health, serving uh, members 16 to 25 years old. And so he has access to case management, peer support uh, specialist. Uh, we have an LVN on site who I have him meet every time he comes in. He does individual therapy with me. He can attend groups. Um, and so he gets all kinds of assistance. And the whole point of a Tay FSP full service partnership is to offer those really intensive uh, case management or clinical case management to those with severe and persistent mental health. Uh, so therapeutic interventions, and I and I did the little skeleton ginger man because um, it's kind of an inside joke for us about the gingerbread man. So who am I, right? It, that's an activity I had him do. Um, I'm trying to help him really get an understanding of who he is um, because he a lot of the conflict and a lot of the um, challenges that he's having is that he really has no sense of self 
Um, so we're working on cultural uh, formation. I've utilized the DSM-5, the cultural aspects, into um, our engagements as well. Um, integration of beliefs. I've utilized motivational interviewing, CBT. We've done a genogram, an eco map, and we're working on a timeline. Um, it's very solution focused, trauma informed, uh, consistent, effective coping and skill building in groups. And then also because there is the um, actually pretty severe um, borderline personality stuff going on. Um, I'm actually going to be trained in DBT next week through my field placement. So that way I can begin utilizing DBT with him. And so since this isn't in person, hopefully I'll be in class so you guys can ask me questions. Um, but feel free to send any questions that you have. Um, a lot of you guys have my number, um, but you can look me up through our CBU email if you want to ask me any questions, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you guys stay safe and have a great day.